So Bernard, it ends as a 2-0 defeat. How do you assess that performance? We, Chester was the better side. We weren't at the races. Um, as simple as that. We took the chances. Um, we made individual errors again off the back. You know, we made three Saturday was punished. We've made two tonight. We've been punished. But we've not offered enough going forward as well. By the way, apart from one or two half chances, we've not we've not tested them. Um, it was the better side on the night. There's, there's no arguments there. I make no bones about it. It was always going to be a tough game. Um, so was Saturday and so was the first game and, and, and it doesn't get any easier, it gets tougher. That old cliche about it being a long season, we, we've just got to go game by game, but we've got to be seen to be trying to improve and, and eight goals in three games we've conceded. It's just about the back three or the back five, it's, it's us as a unit and, and we've got a lot to work on. I think the proof's in the pudding, the fact that we, like you said, didn't test the keeper, there wasn't a shot on target. Does that now change sort of the game plan going into a game like Needham Market at the weekend? No, not at all. We've, we've, we've had... I thought we was OK on Saturday. I didn't think we deserved to lose 3-0 tonight. We deserved to lose 2-0. Facts are, we, we, we deserve to lose the game, make no bones about it. Just because we've lost two on the bounce, we're not going to start panicking and start changing the formation. Today we changed the formation at our time to have more of a go second half and, and expose them where we believe we could. And, and, and we had certain joy um, in moments, but again, not, not good enough collectively. Uh, but I can say, we've, we've said it and we'll say it again, it's a tough league. People will expect you know, that momentum because we won the league last year. You can't come to Chester and play at 60% and expect to get a result. You can't go to Kidderminster and play at 70%. You've got to be at 90s and 100s. That's the difference. And, and when you get when you make mistakes, you get punished. That, 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 that's, that's the be-all and end-all of it. Touched on there that we need to be at 80 and 90%. How do you plan on getting the lads there ahead of Saturday? Well, we've got Oli Thornley coming back. We've got to see Lois May now back tonight. We've got your captain due back any time. They're not imminent, they're not going to come straight into the team, but all of a sudden the squad starts to look stronger. People will start to panic and say we need X, Y and Z in positions. We, we don't, we, we, we're the third game into the season and we, I'd like to think we can only get better. We will stand by what we've done um, to the point where we have to change it. But it, all focus is on Saturday now. Uh, Saturday's gone, Tuesday's gone, we'll be we'll, we'll like Thursday for, for five, ten minutes. Um, we'll, we'll, again, we just said to the players in there, there's no point jumping on each other's case now. Let the emotions settle down, we'll address it Thursday. They know what the problems are. You know we. We've been cut open once or twice today, which in the first two games we haven't been. Today we was cut open um, two or three, four or five times to be fair. Um, but we kept it positive to me, and it sounds a little bit bizarre coming from me, but the positives are we kept a clean sheet second half. And that we get, it gives us a pl platform to build on. You alluded to before that we changed our formation in that second half to match up with Chester and ex try and exploit them. Do you think we could see something like that going into Saturday or do you think it will be reverting back to what we know? I think we've just got to do our due diligence on Needham Market and, and today we, we did on Chester. The game plan didn't work first half, as you know, it's clear to see that. We have 15 minutes at half time to, 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 to get some information onto the players about how we potentially might get back into the game. It weren't for the want of trying, we had a go, we just weren't good enough on the night. Needham Market will offer a different threat. You know, we played against a side tonight that haven't scored in how many games, but tonight they didn't look like a side that haven't scored in that many games to me tonight. They looked hungry, they was on the front foot, they looked too impressed. You know, the, 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 that's I can't pay them any more compliments to what I have done, but the, the, the side that won tonight deserved it, and it's gone for me now. Like I say, we'll work five, ten minutes on, on Thursday at training, but you know, focus is on Needham Market now, where you know we need a result, make no bones about it. Well, try and flip a positive onto the situation. There was 159 travelling Radcliffe supporters tonight. Just a word on sort of their on their journey tonight. Outstanding, and I'm going to stand there and apologise for it. I don't think these fans want an apology. I don't think these fans are fans we've used to in the past. They, they've come here to support us. I don't know if they thought we'd win, we'd lose, we'd draw. But what, what you see today is, is fans that have seen what we're trying to do at the football club. We're trying to build that fan base, get it bigger. And by playing good and attractive football, we'll, we'll encourage and then numbers will go up. Now, losing 2-0 tonight at Chester, I don't think we, you know the, the, the negative side of the Rackley fans is going to be that weren't good enough and they're not going to put it the next game. It's about supporting what we're trying to do and, and believing and buying into it. And if it takes three months to get to where we need to get, then it takes three months. Given the opportunity, if it's six months, it's six months. We, we, we don't know, but all we can do is purely focus on Saturday. Hopefully get three points against Needham Market. Be confident, which is down to us to instill that into the players, that we've lost two games. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, you get a game, uh, get a win Saturday, we're going to start to look forward to the Monday. And finally, the great thing about football is there's an, always an opportunity to respond. And of course, Saturday, back at the Newven Stadium, which we've already alluded to, perfect chance to, to get the Radcliffe singing once again. We just want lads champion at the bit to get in and, and, and rectify, put the wrongs right. And, and, and we no doubt we'll try and do that in abundance. 
Um, but again, like you say, touch on the supporters. You know, let's get a big crowd there Saturday. Let's hope, like you say, we can we can rectify tonight's error and, and Saturday's error and get three points on the board.